A few hundred feet above the target shale, the drilling assembly comes to a stop. The entire string is retracted to the surface to adjust the drilling assembly and install a special drilling tool. This tool allows Chesapeake to gradually turn the drill bit until a horizontal plane is reached. The remainder of the well is drilled in this horizontal plane while in contact with the gas producing shale. Drilling continues horizontally through the shale at lengths greater than 4,000 feet from the point where it entered the formation. Once drilling is completed, the equipment is retracted to the surface. Then, a smaller diameter casing, called production casing, is installed throughout the total length of the well. The production casing is cemented and secured in place by pumping cement down through the end of the casing. Depending on regional geologic conditions, the cement is pumped around the outside casing wall to approximately 2,500 feet above the producing shale formation or to the surface. The cement creates a seal to ensure that formation fluids can only be produced via the production casing. After each layer of casing is installed, the well is pressure tested to ensure its integrity for continued drilling. A cross section of the well below surface reveals several protective layers. Cement, conductor casing, cement, surface casing, drilling mud, production casing, and then production tubing through which the produced gas and water will flow. Seven layers of protection. Horizontal drilling offers many advantages when compared to vertical drilling. Since horizontal wells contact more of the gas producing shale, fewer wells are needed to optimally develop a gas field. Multiple wells can be drilled from the same pad sites. For example, development of a 1280 acre tract of land using conventional vertical drilling techniques could require as many as 32 vertical wells, with each having its own pad site. However, one multi-well pad site with horizontal wells can effectively recover the same natural gas reserves from the 1,280-acre tract of land while reducing the overall surface disturbance by 90 percent.